Hey guys, it's Pat Levy, music writer for Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, tapmilwaukee.com. I was at a comedy show tonight, Nick Offerman and Megan Mullally, uh, kind of the uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z of alternative comedy. A uh, married couple, they're best known maybe for being on Parks and Recreation. Um, and uh, tonight they did uh, two shows at the Riverside, I was at the first one, for a tour called Summer of 69, No Apostrophe. These shows were actually supposed to be taped uh, for uh, a special, and that was canceled last minute due to production issues. I gotta be honest, though, even as a fan, uh, it's not, it wasn't really special ready. Uh, the show went on for almost two hours, and a lot of it just uh, was kind of a one note sort of thing. And I, I'm a fan of Offer Minimal Ollie. I think they're incredibly witty, uh, endearing people, very funny comedians. Uh, and the show is very, you know, sex filled, which I have no issue with at all either. Uh, you know, I mean, on Parks and Recreation, their, their sexual tension between their characters is Ron Swanson for Offerman and his uh, psychotic ex wife, librarian uh, Tammy, that was Moali. Uh, it was some of the funniest things on that show in the entire run. Uh, but tonight, the, the sex jokes kind of re repeated themselves over and over and over again. There's a lot of, you know, kind of like groaners, a lot of kind of, um, you know, dull, like dull talk, but, you know, like, like kind of like deadpan talk to kind of make the shot stuff more shocking uh, there were jokes about you know how they had sex with Jesus and stuff obviously stuff that's meant to kind of get your goat and get you kind of riled up uh, but you know when they did that over and over and over again for like an hour it just got really repetitive um, that said though I mean there were still some really good parts in the show especially towards the end it actually got better as it went on which I was surprised about um, toward the end there was a bit where uh, they read each other's perspectives on an argument and the, the way they wrote those perspectives were really fun really clever and they had the audience kind of pick who won the argument that was a really clever bit uh, and then they kind of faked this bit where Malali broke up with Offerman on stage and she brought out this guy from the crowd to kind of go on a date with her and there's this kind of funny uh, dramatic tension between him and Offerman some really good improvised bits there I mean it's really funny too and it ended with a really cool uh, kind of silly choreographed dance with lots of kind of you know, sexual gestures and stuff, uh, and it was very silly. And obviously the two of them have a great chemistry together, really do love each other a lot, and uh, that part was infectious. But I think the show would be better if it was a shorter show, frankly, if it was a tighter show. They didn't repeat themselves so much. They're, they're incredibly clever people, incredibly funny people, uh, but tonight, uh, it, they just weren't on top, I don't think. I don't think they were on top of their game. Uh, for the full review, go to jsonline.com slash music. Uh, and for more, uh, you know, concert happenings, check out my new newsletter. It's, it's called Piet Levy's Music Picks. You can get that at jsonline.com slash newsletters.